Hey, so I was recently allotted a budget of $10,000 to shoot a music video. And you're probably thinking like, whoa, $10,000, you probably do a crap ton with that money. But truth be told that $10,000 goes super quick. <laughs> How do I spend $10,000 on this music video? What was the most important things to spend money on first and what were the least important things? How do we get to $10,000 so quick? So the most important thing for me uh, when thinking about where I'm gonna spend my money is to make sure that I'm properly paying a crew. So many videos I've done in the past have come up so short because I was trying to do too many things myself and I didn't have the proper crew and it was super stressful and overwhelming, which this shoot wasn't not stressful and overwhelming, but on shoot day, it was super nice having a couple people to help me out. So for me, the most important people for me to have on this shoot were an AC, our Steadicam op, who actually doubled as our AC, which helped tremendously with her budget. A gaffer, we had two grips, two PAs, and I hired someone to shoot BTS because it's just important to have like the good memories of all this, you know? And also so that I can share them all, all the BTS stuff with you guys. So when you're paying for a crew that size and you're paying for their day rates, uh, you start to really creep up on that budget pretty quickly. And day rates for people in the film industry aren't cheap. A good going rate for a gaffer is like 650 a day. And a key grip is like 600 a day. And then another grip g and &E type guy is gonna be $500. So paying crew is not cheap at all in the least bit. Luckily for me, I didn't have to hire you know, a DP. I didn't have to hire a producer for the shoot because I did directing DP and producing myself, which wasn't best case scenario one bit, but I was able to save myself thousands of dollars within the budget just by taking on those tasks myself. And let me just say that I didn't pay myself anything for this shoot. So I saved a lot of money. Director, DP, producer, editor, colorist, did everything myself and zero dollars. So if I were going to be hiring all those things, that would eat a lot more of the budget and I'd probably want to have money for gear locations and the rest of the stuff. So yeah, cruise is expensive. So the next thing that I figured out was location because I can't figure out my gear if I don't know what the location's looking like. So location wise, uh, I ended up spending a thousand dollars for you know this warehouse and multiple rooms within the same place and we had it all day. We were uninterrupted. We kind of didn't have many rules. So even though a thousand dollars a day for a venue isn't super cheap, it's also just nice to you know have free range of what you can do within a space. So and it was also just like a super convenient location. So yeah, right there we're up to fifty percent of our budget. And the next thing that ate up majority of our budget of our ten thousand dollars was gear on music videos that are higher up, I can't shoot on a DSLR, you know, I'm going to shoot on a more expensive camera. And luckily for me, the rental house didn't have the camera I was looking for. I wanted to shoot on Alexa Mini, but they didn't have it in stock, so they gave me a discount on a Red Helium. So I got a Red Helium, which was already cheaper than Mini, and then discounted again, so there we go. I don't love shooting Red, but got to shoot on a cheaper camera than I was originally planning for, so I saved money there. And then once I talked to my grip and my gaffer about how we were gonna light every single scene uh, that we were about to shoot, we talked about, you know, like what fixtures we were gonna rent, what uh, grip equipment we were going to need to do specific things in this music video. We had two M18s, we had a sky panel, we had a one-ton grip truck, we had, you know, bunch of different things and that came out to be like over $4,500 in gear and equipment. So here we are, $500 left in that budget, but you better believe that's gonna go really quick. In order to shoot at the location we're shooting at, we need insurance. And in order to rent the gear that we we're renting, we need insurance for that. The location insurance was over $300 and the equipment insurance for one day was over $200. So there we go, there's $500 plus some. So we're at $10,000, but wait, we're not done. Then we had to consider like everything, like, uh, like props and set pieces that we're gonna put into the music video. Ended up building this like big glass wall that wasn't cheap to make. Ended up spending a lot of money on, you know, art department type stuff like broken glass, roses. So I ended up spending like over a thousand dollars on 
art department stuff to make the idea that I had in my head work. Yeah, we're over $10,000 by a pretty penny here, and we're not done. One thing that a lot of people don't consider when drawing out their budget is that you need to feed everyone on set for the entire day. I had to pay for breakfast, and I had to pay for snacks throughout the day, and you have to pay for lunch or dinner uh, to be catered. I ended up going with Panera. This isn't a sponsored Panera ad, but Caesar salad was a hit. But yeah, that ended up costing me like $400 to feed the crew and talent for the day. Yeah, were places that I could have saved money. Maybe I could have gotten a better deal on a location. Uh, maybe I could have rented less equipment. Maybe I could have shot with a worse camera, worse lenses. $10,000, not a lot of money when shooting a music video. If you would have told me that you're gonna give me $10,000 a year ago, to shoot a music video, I would have thought that I would have been, you know, living it up, going on vacations and killing it with the extra money I would have had after creating the music video. But nope, I ended up losing like almost $2,000 throughout the process. So if it doesn't ever end up on my website or real, <sighs> at least I tried and that's all you can ask for. Talk to you next time guys, see ya, bye. Oh, <laughs>